Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all good. So today we'll try to solve the problem 1512 on lead code, which is num finding the number of good pairs. So let's try to do this one. So the description is, we have been given an array of nums, um, which has to return all the good pairs. So what does it mean by good pairs? So good pairs are a pair of i comma j, which is good if i equals j. It literally says here the answer actually. So we are given an input nums here. Uh, I'll just comment it down here. Okay, so we are given an input here and the output would be four. And what are good pairs? Good pairs are, as we said, i equals j. So what does it mean? So if this, how many times the element repeat and what position? So say this one is one and this one, they are same. So one time we have a same pair, then this one and this one is same. So two times we have good pair then this one and this one they are also same so we got three times a good pair then this three and this three are same so fourth pair that's why we have an output of four easy so here the explanation is just same where it says the uh, it's just saying on the basis of index number so zero one two three so zero comma three is one one a good pair so on till two comma five which is this three and this three Hope you understood till here. Uh, now what we'll try to do is, we'll just try to write down and make it a bit short. Just for the ease of understanding that what we want to do is, we want to loop through the array, loop throughout the array, right? And what do we want to do? So once we loop through this array, we just want to check every element for, to do that, what can we do? So what we'll do, we'll use one more loop because we want to get index of this and this and you can also get an idea from here where it says i and j so maybe we need to so let's do this so use we'll have to use one more loop and uh, this time so this time we will check i plus one value value at i plus one so first like this and then we'll check is it equals to this then when i is this next time we'll check is it equals to this you know what i mean like this and then what we can do we can just return count and what will be count we'll create a variable called count and we'll just update it value by plus one every time and we'll return count plus one or whatever right count so let's try to solve this problem it's gonna be really easy so let's do so we'll create variable count which can which will be zero in the beginning because we don't want to be of any value uh, other than zero for variable i equals zero i should be less than nums dot length what is nums nums is this array we want it to be less than this yeah and then i plus plus we know how to use the for loop after this what do we want so after this i want to use one more for loop why because i need two pointers why because first i need to keep track of this and the element after this so that i can see if these both are equal right so that's why we use one more for loop here i will use j equals zero and j should be less than oh no so i so see you don't want j equals zero right because if you want j equals zero then obviously first time they're gonna be equal like same point so what do you do you always want j to be one pointer more than i so if i is one you want j to be this two so that's why you always put j equals i plus one right if i equals one next time then j will be one plus one two like if i is this j should be this if i is this j should be this so yeah and j should be less than nums dot length l e n g g t h yeah and j plus plus easy then what do we want so after so when we have got hold of both the index first and after that then we can put the logic so logic would be what so we'll put if condition and what we'll say we'll say if nums of i we'll use three equals why do we use three equals to compare the exact value are they equal if we use one equals which means one equals means you want to put the right hand side value to the left hand side three equals means three or two equals means you want to Compare LHS equals RHS. So then we'll say if nums at i equals to nums at j, right? Then what do we want to do? We want to 
use another logic in it and we want to put this variable count and we want to say that count equals we want to say count equals count plus one or if you want to simplify it see you can do like this just remove this and you can do count plus equals one it's just a better code uh, yeah just makes code better and more easy to understand so count plus equals one which means count equals count plus one so you're done with if condition done with this for loop done with this for loop as well what do you want we just want to return the count so we'll return count and that's it if we try to run it it should work yeah we got a really good runtime and if we try to submit the solution yeah see faster than 97 percent whoa what do we else need that's it so if you need more videos like this please subscribe my channel so that i can get mo motivation to make more videos and if you need help with a particular problem on lead code or any other thing related to web development then yeah just write in the comment and or message me on my email address and i'll make sure that i make videos on those